All right, YouTube, hope all of you are doing well. I want to show you how to use the substring function in SAS. So that is sub str. I'll show you the right side application and also the left side application. So I'll go ahead and create a really simple data step to give you an example. So I'll just do data and then I'll call it just write sub. And then I will put in a date and it's just gonna be a string, something like 06, let's say May 16, so 2016. And then I'm gonna put in month. So this is, I'm creating a variable that's called month. And then I'm gonna use the sub SDR function. And now this takes in three different arguments. It takes in first the name of the variable. So in my case, the name is date. It takes in a position. So where do you wanna start reading this uh, date string? So I will put three. So by saying three, I'm saying I wanna skip the zero and the six in the date and I wanna start with the M. And then the final argument it takes is where do I want to stop? So let's say I wanna stop after the six. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. So if you count it all the way to the six, it's going to be five. You want your semicolon there and you want your run. And then what we are gonna do is just proc print. So we wanna print this result. We put in data equals the name of our data set and then run. And we can just highlight this code and then hit this running person here. And there we are. You will notice if you look at our month that it only includes the May 16. So May 2016, it does not include the 06. And the reason that it's called the right hand application of substring function is because you'll notice that everything is to the right of the equal sign. So of course, the variable name is on the left, but the function itself and all the work that the function does is on the right side of this equal sign. I think a really good way to think about this right hand application of substring is that you have this string and you're deciding what do I want to actually take from that string. So you're just taking a piece of a larger string and you're deciding first, as I mentioned, the first argument is which variable do you want to take that piece from? The next argument, the three, is where do you want to start? So you want to start at the third spot, so at the M. And the five is you're going to start at the third spot, but then you want to go five spaces from there. So it's going to be one from the M, one, two, three, four, five. All right. So then what is the difference with the left-hand application of substring? And the difference is that in the right, you are taking a string that's there and you're picking out parts of the string that you want to use on the with the left hand application you're actually taking that string and then changing parts of the string so let me show you i'll just delete this here and then i'm going to put in sub str first argument is going to be the variable that you want to change the value of. In this case, the value is, of course, 06 May 16. Then the second one is, of course, again, position. So I'm saying I want to start with position six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is the one. I want to start at the one. And then N is going to be two. And that is how many spaces do you want to go after you you start at six. So I want to go two spaces. So the one and the six, that is what it's going to include. And then we have the equal sign here. And then I'll put 20 because it's 2020. And then I'll put the semicolon. And by the way, notice now that we have the equal sign here. Notice that the sub uh, string function 
is now on the left side of the equal sign. So that's why it's called the left side application. And let me just go ahead and run this. And there we are. Notice how we changed it. 0, 06 May 20 instead of 16. So hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, please subscribe and please like this video. See you guys soon.